Last time round, we were looking at basically what is austenite, what is ferrite, why is the carbon not soluble? What happens when we cool it slowly? If, let's look at it at atomic scale, I'm only drawing a few atoms. If that is face centered cubic, it's close packed. And I've got another row of atoms in another grain coming up this way. Where those two, I'll pick a different colour, where those two grains meet, there's an area of high energy. Because there's an area of high energy there and high atomic mismatch, in here, I'll draw the ferrite as squares, as you cool down, the ferrite starts to form and grow into what used to be austenite. As what happens at um, transformation happens at grain boundaries at the start as well as where there might be a missing hole, like that might be a missing atom. So anywhere where there's high energy, transformation starts. Something that I forgot, let me just, I'll record it now and I'll just insert it at the right place. The phases in steel that we need to worry about is iron carbide, seven type, There is alpha iron, which is ferrite. And we also talk in low carbon steel microstructures about a phase called perlite. That is layers of iron carbide, which is a ceramic. Steel is weird because it makes a natural ceramic as it cools inside the structure and it's also got alpha iron. So I've got iron carbide, alpha iron. That layered structure of iron carbide and ferrite, iron carbide, ferrite, iron carbide, ferrite is called perlite. So what's happening here? This thing here might have in it purple for carbon. That might have a carbon atom there. There might be a carbon atom there. That's probably more than enough. Okay, there's not that many carbon atoms dissolved. So, what we have there, as that continues to grow, it pushes the carbon atoms ahead. And as it grows, it pushes the carbon atom out ahead and keeps on picking them up. So we might get a collection of carbon atoms getting pushed out the front of the ferrite as the blue as the ferrite grows and it gets to a point where these things start to form an iron carbide so we get a layer of ferrite let me now just draw it in blue then pushing out the front of it I've got a layer of what colour? purple Iron carbide forms around the outside. So this here becomes iron carbide, like that, at atomic scale. And of course, because that's growing iron carbide, it says all the carbon atoms that are floating around go in and join in and grow. And down here, that means there's no carbon. That gets to a certain point, and then it goes. Okay, I'm now going back to ferrite. Because there's no carbon, I can easily make ferrite. So then I get a layer of ferrite. Layer of cementite. Layer of ferrite, cementite. Ferrite, cementite. Ferrite, cementite. Ferrite, cementite. And these are the bands that you see in the textbook. When it says you have this phase is called perlite. When you see perlite in the textbook, that's what it is. It's alternating layers of iron carbide and ferrite. 
that's what happens when you cool steel slowly. 